Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial where we had started discussion about the computable future class and that is the class which was added in JDK 1.8. So let's move one step ahead and try uh, we'll try to explore some uh, hands on on this new added API. So a uh, computable future class implements the future interface uh, so you can use it as a future implementation but with additional uh, completion logic because this class also implements uh, completion stage interface as well you can create an instance of this class with no argument constructor to represent some future result or future object uh, after that you hand hand in out to the consumers or uh, and complete it at some time in the future using the uh, complete method uh, the consumers may use the gate method to block the current thread until the result will be provided so basically in this video tutorial uh, we are going to create an instance of computable in uh, future interface so we'll see how to create uh, an instance of computable future interface and how we can make use of the complete method right so here is the eclipse and here i have created a project uh, computable future demo underscore one and i have created a class with uh, computable uh, completable uh, uh, future test and which is having the main method so here i'm going to create a method uh, name is called calculate async right so i'm going to create this method as a private static method okay and here uh, as, as, as i i have shown in demo you can create an instance of uh, uh, completable uh, completable future by using uh, no argument constructor so let's go ahead and create an instance of completable future sorry completable future and this class uh, is having a no argument constructor so we can create object out of it okay so let's say this represents a string of completable future now let's make a, a return type of this method as computable itself okay now now here i'm going to use uh, executor framework executor service executors dot executor uh, has a lot of uh, i mean a static method or you can say uh, utility method to create uh, 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 a thread pool so I'm going to use new uh, cast thread pool right and you can call submit method on it and you can see submit uh, has lot of overloaded method so here I'm going to use this simplest one which takes runnable and as an argument and runnable as we know that it's a functional interface so of course we can write lambda expression for this functional interface right so let's write a lambda for this functional interface and inside this just i'm going to write a thread dot sleep and just for 20 milliseconds just i'm sleeping this thread for 20 milliseconds and this method throws interrupt exceptions you need to write inside the try catch so just i have wrap this code inside the uh, try catch and here basically i'm going to use uh, let's suppose i have a list of a string and list new and array list sorry new you should have a space array list Control shift O for organizing port and here in this list I'm going to add some name Let's 
so I'm going to add KK PK and SK so I have added just three string right and here I'm going to use a string class is um, has a method is called joined and this join method basically has been added in Java 8 so I'm going to use and delimiter I'm going to specify comma itself and here you can pass if you look into the signature of this joined method then second argument is nothing but iterable so list interface extend extends iterable so of course you can pass iterable interface and this will give you the joined string and a string will be the comma separated right so I would say joined str and this joined str here we have a completable object and completable object has a method is called complete so I'm going to use I'm going to call complete method on it so complete method which accepts a string and uh, as an argument so this string I'm going to pass it over here right so right so once and after that I'm going to return none right and if this complete method executed then uh, then this future object I'm going to return it right it's not least but I'm going to return uh, this future object we can return this future object itself right if this line of code is getting executed then uh, all name will be extracted from the list and that will be comma separated and that will uh, just will put into the computable future object and caller will get this object right return back so of course we are uh, saying that return type so return type we have added sorry it is null we can add or add it over here okay so if this line is executed then future object will be written from here so control will not reach over here else uh, this will return if this line is not getting executed then null will be returned to the caller <coughs> so now from main method we are calling this method this method will return us the future object itself so let's say computable future and computable future has a method is called get right so which is getting inherited from the future object future uh, interface right and if you look into the signature of get method so that is available uh, that that is implemented in the uh, computable future and this guy is throwing interrupting exception as well as execution exception right so let's try to wrap it within the multi try catch or you can say uh, try catch and you have a nested try catch or you can say in java sorry so you can remove you can catch more than one exception within the uh, same catch block and that is the feature of java 7 so add catch clause to the surrounding try add exception in existing catch clause so i'm going to uh, select this option so this is the feature of java 7 right we, we we get the result and this result just we are going to print it over here right so we get the result and here you can for uh, just I want to show you these two operation with this result we are just uh, printing over here so uh, this line of code is executing in different thread and this is executing in a totally different thread so for uh, to understanding purpose you can print it over here thread name as well right so thread class has a method is called current thread and dot get name so to know it so which thread is executed uh, i mean this code is executed in by the which thread you can print the name of the thread itself so in this case of course this will be the main thread and here we are using the uh, thread pool right thread uh, thread pool which is provide the executor framework so here also 
we can uh, print uh, thread name as well right so here you will get the thread name something else right so this two code is executing two different threads so now if I run this code then let me show you the output so you can see so we have just we are calling this method uh, and this is a private static method and this line of code is executing right so here just we are trying to print the name of the thread so name of the thread is pool one thread one so right this so this thread is basically created by the uh, cached thread pool and the thread is thread name is like this right and uh, and uh, so that's why uh, this thread name is getting printed over here and uh, we are just uh, returning the future object right from last we are uh, returning the future object uh, to the caller so computable future object and from computable future object just we are getting the result and try to print it so result we got the kk pk and sk which is comma separated right and finally we are printing the name of the thread that is nothing the main right so i hope you understood this code so uh, let me explain you this code in this example actually basically uh, we have a method that creates a we have a method which creates a uh, uh, creates a uh, computable future instance uh, then a spins of some computation in another thread right just we spins uh, 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 this code into the another thread right uh, and returns the future object immediately right so that basically returns the future object immediately after executing this code uh, when computation is done the method completes the future by providing the result to complete method right so that's the this line of code uh, to a spin a spin uh, to a spin of the computation uh, we use the we used over here uh, executor uh, executor API but uh, this method of uh, method of creating and completing a com uh, computable future can be used together with any concurrency mechanism or API including even a, a raw threads as well you can notice that uh, calculate a sync method returns a future object right that returns a future instance uh, we simply call the method and receive the future instance we simply call the method over here right and from main method we call uh, this method and we receive the future in instance and call the get method on it when we are uh, ready to block uh, block for the result also notice that get method throws some check decision right so this get method basically throwing check decision like interrupt exception and uh, execution exception so execution exception basically encapsulating an exception that occurs during a computation and uh, when we talk about the interrupted exception uh, interrupted exception and exception is signifying that a thread executing a method was interrupted right so i hope you understood this code and uh, this is the first api within the uh, complete computable interface that is called complete which i have shown you how to make use so here we have taken the very simple scenario so basically we have a list of a string and list of a string just we are uh, extracting and we are just making use of the join method which is available in a string which is the part of jdk 1.8 so this method i have been added in jdk 1.8 so just we are extracting na all names from the list and uh, just uh, we are concatenating all a string and uh, just we have specified the delimiter as the comma and this result just we are uh, passing to the complete method so once you done the processing and uh, then result just you are assigning as a string to the complete method uh, and this uh, result will be uh, taken by the computable future object and this future object uh, we are just returning over here 